Azerbaijani Wine, Wikipedia Article Audio Azerbaijani wine is produced in several regions throughout Azerbaijan. Prior to 20th century communist rule, Azerbaijan had a thriving wine industry that dated back to the second millennium BC. Azerbaijan's long history of wine production was rediscovered at archaeological digs of settlements in KLTP, Karabalar, and Gulajig where archaeologists discovered stone fermentation and storage vessels that included residue and grape seeds dating back to the 2nd millennium BC. The ancient Greeks were well aware of wine production in the area by at least the 7th century BC according to Herodotus. Later Strabo would comment in the 1st century BC about an Azerbaijani wine known as Albania. Arabic historians and geographers most notably Abu al-Fida, al-Masudi, Ibn Haqqal, and al-Mukadasi, described the extensive viticulture around Ganja and Barda that was taking place even after Islamic conquest of the area. Since the fall of communism and the restoration of Azerbaijani independence, ardent attempts have been made to revive and modernize the Azerbaijani wine industry. Today vineyards are found in the foothills of Caucasus Mountains as well and the Kuraaraz lowlands near the Kara River. In the 21st century, Ganja, Nagorno-Karabakh and Nakhchivan have emerged as centers of wine production in the region. Among the grape varieties used to produce Azerbaijani wine include Pinot Noir, Rgatsidali, Pinot Blanc, Aligote, Matrasa, Poderic Megaracha, Pervnets Megaracha, Rani Megaracha, Duina, Viorica, and Kishmish Moldavski. Local grape varieties indigenous to Azerbaijan include White Shuni, Durbendai, Nail, Bayan Shire, Gamashera, Ganja Pink, Bendai, Madrasa, Black Shuni, Arnagrana, Zinabi, Miskali, Kindogni, Agdam Ketchi Mjsai, Tabrizi, and Mirandi. History Medical Use In Goigal Rayon of the country, archaeologists have found jars with remains of wines which date back to the 2nd millennium BC. In the Kanlar district of the Azerbaijan Republic, for example, archaeologists have found jars buried with the remains of wine dating back to the 2nd millennium BC. Greek historian Strabo who had traveled to northern Azerbaijan described cultivation of crops of grapes as so abundant that the residents were not able to harvest them. Other sources such as the epic poem Kitabi Dada Gorgud written in 7th to 11th centuries describe enriched culture of winemaking. Sources from 13th to 14th centuries indicate that the annual harvest of grapes from the fields around Tabriz in southern Azerbaijan was nearly 150 tons. The wines produced in ancient and medieval ages, however, are not similar to contemporary wines. They were thick and sweet as honey which people had to dilute with water. One of the latest discoveries was nearly ten years ago when the residents of Shamaki, two hours west of Baku, found a big ancient ceramic jar containing thick syrup which turned out to be a very concentrated fragrant wine. One of the most ancient and notable regions known for its winemaking produce is Tavuz in northwestern Azerbaijan. Archaeological findings in this region speak of ancient vessels for wine storage, stones, and remains of tartaric acid used for wine growing. In addition to historians and travelers such as Homer, Herodotus, Columella, Ibn Haqqal, Al-Masudi, who made remarks about winemaking in Azerbaijan, the Arabian geographer of the 10th century Al-Mukadasi, noted in his writing that the sweet kind of wine found in Nikakevan cannot be found anywhere else. The region developed as wine-producing center from 1820 to 1830s attracting many foreign investors. 
The famous culture of winemaking was enriched with the arrival of German immigrants to the region in the early 19th century. German immigrants from Wurtemberg were settled in Azerbaijan by the Russian Tsar Alexander I circa 1817-1818 and enhanced the wine and cognac producing potential of the country by heavy investments into the industry. Famous German family businesses such as Vorer Brothers and the Hummel family based in Hellenendorf industrialized the wine production making it competitive with European wines. In the Middle Ages, some wines were also used against tiredness and relaxation. For instance, in the court of Shah Suleiman Seyfavai, royal physicians recommended wine to alleviate tiredness. Other sorts were utilized as medicine. In his writings in 1311, historian and scholar Yusuf Ibn Ismail al Qutubi notes that small doses of wine can strengthen the sense of organs and the whole body, and melancholy, depression, and bad mood, while water diluted wines are a good medicine against fever and cold. Wines produced from rose petals were used against headaches, heart disease, and stomach ache. The contemporary winemaking in Azerbaijan is seen in Ganja, Kazakh and Shirvan economic zones. Vineyards in these regions account to about 7% of the country's cultivated land. The regions are famous for 17 vine and 16 table grape varieties the most common of the wine cultivars being Pinot Noir. Modern Times Azerbaijan is one of the main wine producers in the Caspian Sea region. Contemporary winemaking was ambitiously developed during the 1970s by Soviet authorities who preferred to increase the wine production versus development of the grain industry. As per special decrees of the Cabinet of Ministers, more funds were allocated for the industry setting between 70 and 80,000 hectares of land for vineyards. The initial plans were to produce as much as 3 million tons of grapes annually by 1990. Due to increased productivity, Azerbaijan was producing nearly 2.1 million tons of grapes by 1982. The industry brought about 100 million rubles annually. Most of wines produced in Azerbaijan during Soviet rule were exported to Russia, Belarus, and the Baltic, however, during the 1980s export was slowed due to Gorbachev's alcoholism prohibition campaign. Currently, there are nearly 10 wineries and vineyards producing wine in the country. The largest one is Vinogro, created in 2006. It uses the Goigal wine plant near Ganja founded in 1860 by German immigrants. Exports to other countries are steadily growing due to good quality of Azerbaijani wine products. Most of produce is currently being targeted for Russian and European markets as well as new growing markets for Azerbaijani wine such as China. Due to growing demand, New grape plantations have been set up over 100 hectares in Shamkar region of Azerbaijan. Since restoration of independence of Azerbaijan in 1991, the Azerbaijani wines won 27 prizes at international competitions. Azerbaijan has been increasing its wine production for the last several years. In 2003, it produced 3,790 in 2005 to 4,005 and in 2007 to 7,200 tons of wine. Moreover, Azerbaijan is one of the main wine producers in the territory of the Caspian Sea. Despite vodka was considered as a part of drinking culture during the USSR, Azerbaijani wine was one of the favorites in Russia even before the Gorbachev purge. According to the prohibition law by the Soviet Union in 1985 on vine production totally prevented a growing industry in Azerbaijan. Before this law, the production of grapes was equal to 2 tons per year, 
which meant provision of 40 to 45 percent of Azerbaijan's SSR GDP. Azerbaijan is aimed to gain more reputation in the world's vine market. It is a result of joining the International Organization of Vine and Wine. Climate and Geography In 2012, Azerbaijani President Air approved a decree state program for development of grape growth 2012-2020. The aim of the program is to increase the grape growth as well as develop winemaking, and rise the rate of exportation. Each year, the size of the territories for growing grape is rising. Within the state program, territory of grape gardens will be 50,000 hectares. It is expected that the grape growth will reach to 500 tons until 2020. 30% of grape is considered to be consumed for eating. The rest of the crop will be used to produce various brands of wine. In Azerbaijan, specialists in this area CO operates with the International Organization of Vine and Wine, National Institute for Vine and Wine Magarach, Yalta, Tarof Winemaking and Wine Growing Institute, Odessa, and other organizations. The mountainous geography of Azerbaijan and its close location to the large Caspian Sea creates a vast diversity of macro and microclimates that depend on exact location as well as altitude, latitude, and orientation and degree of slopes. While generally considered a continental climate, wine regions in Azerbaijani can see anything from moderately warm growing seasons with dry winters to very cool growing seasons with rainy, wet harvests and winter seasons with nearly 10% of Azerbaijani vineyards needing to utilizing some form of winter protection. Nearly half of all Azerbaijani vineyards need to utilize some form of irrigation to help deal with periodic droughts during the warm summer months. The average annual temperatures for many Azerbaijani wine regions fall between 10.5 to 15.5 degrees Celsius. Azerbaijan includes regions 3, 4, and V on the heat summation scale with areas seeing anywhere from 3,000 to 4, 6,000 degree days. Annual rainfall in the lowlands, where most of the grapes are grown, up to the foothills varies from 250 to 600 mm. Wine Styles In Azerbaijan, wines made from grapes are called sherab while wines from other fruits including apples, pomegranates, and mulberry are called nabis. Other sorts are called chukar. According to historians, there are more than 450 different categories of wild grape found in Azerbaijan which had been used for winemaking throughout the history of Azerbaijan. Among the historical names of wine brands are Rehani, Jumhuri, Mishmish, Valani, Erastun, Handagun and Samavi. Contemporary brand names include Shadok, China, Satellai, Akdam, Kurd Amir, Akstafa, and Madrasali. Others, such as Gizgala C, Yeti Gozal, Garahila and Naznatsi made from the Madrasa pink grape are exclusive to Azerbaijan since they are indigenous to Madrasa village of Shamaki Rayon only. Rakatsitali is another kind of grape grown and used for winemaking in northwestern Azerbaijan.